Karga Bahadur Ramtel was just a child when he joined the Maoist insurgency launched 20 years ago in Nepal. When a 2006 peace deal ended the war, he and other teenage soldiers were left in the cold, denied compensation and a job in the Nepalese army for being underage. When it was time to study, to do something, to be with our parents, we were forced to join the Maoists. But now, we're all helpless. More than 16,000 people were killed and hundreds went missing in the decade-long insurgency. In all, nearly 4,000 children, including Ramtel's wife Manisha, fought in the war. And now many accuse the Mao's leadership of abandoning the movement's revolutionary ideals after swapping guns for politics at the end of the conflict. Now they are in power. They have earned fame and money. But where are the women or the low-caste communities? I want to say that the Maoist party is no good, is following the wrong principles. The old ideologies are no longer there. Former Maoist Prime Minister Babu Ram Bhattrai, who recently quit the party, says the insurgency transformed Nepal for the better. Actually, we succeeded to fulfill the aspiration that we brought about uh, democratic chain gave democratic rights uh, to the Dalits, women and others. So that part of our promise was fulfilled. Nepal's new constitution established the country as a secular republic, in line with the Maoist ideology. But such achievements ring hollow to the Ramtals and other former fighters who are still waiting for a better future.